guys, this is the editor bringing you another plugin tutorial. Today we are looking at Group Manager. Frankly, the best group plugin out there, better than Permissions X, better than B Permissions. It, it works the best, has the best compatibility. Frankly, you should just use it rather than any other plugin. So let's get started. First of all, we can start with List Groups. And we can see we have our five main groups that you start all the time. We have global groups, which we will discuss later. So, probably what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is add your own group. So to do that, we use mang add and the name of the group. So we will do editor. So, um, a little explanation. Mang means group. Manu means a single person or user. So since we wanted a new group, we did mang. So, we have our group editor, right? So let's pimp it out with some permissions. So, basically, what you want to do is go to the plugin you want to add permissions for, right? Go to the permissions uh, permission page and look at the permission nodes and see which ones you want to add. So what we can do is mang, since it's a group, add p for permission. So, the name of the group is editor, and you can do random dot permission or whatever the permission node is. For me, I'm going to add an asterisk. An asterisk means all permissions. This is dangerous. Only give this to yourself. Uh, we will do that. So now editor has all permissions. It's a pretty epic uh, group right now. So let's make ourselves editor. So menu, since we're person, add, since we're adding ourselves to something, supreme, Russian, the name of my username, and we will do editor, since we want to be part of the editor class. So we say hi and see um, my name is red because I'm up right now but we have nothing that says we're the editor it's just me having a red name so let's change that let's add something exciting so what you do is mang since it's a group add since you're going to add something v v stands for variable so a variable could be a prefix or a suffix so we're going to say which group we're going to affect the editor what we're going to do prefix or suffix we're gonna add a prefix for now and what the actual prefix is now you can use color codes any color code has an and symbol and 1 through 9 a through F you can just experiment which colors look best I'm gonna use and symbol and 4 which is dark red so we will use that to make it look nicer editor done so now if we say hello world Boom, you see, we have the editor uh, prefix right here. So let's say we want a suffix. We can do the same thing, except instead of prefix, we use suffix. And what we can do is maybe some crazy stuff like... Uh, there. Let's see how nice that looks. And as you can see, we chose green and symbol in A is green and looks nice don't you agree epic group so far so now what we have is a group it has all the permissions it needs and it has how it looks like now we're going to get into some shortcuts I mean there's a lot of permissions that you probably will need especially if you get up to 20 plugins it's just going to be annoying adding permission after permission after permission for each group uh, more likely than not what you have is one group with a certain amount of permissions and the next group with the same permissions but a couple more sometimes yes sometimes no but what you can do to make life easier is this simple command mang since we're affecting group add an i and i here stands for inheritance so first uh, put the group that you want to get the extra perm so let's say um, we want editor there so editor this group is going to get the perms remember this now you want to say the group that will give editor the perms editor receive the perms this group will give it let's give all the perms from owner so this means that any perm owner has editor will now have so it says group owner is now an in editor inheritance list so basically it inherits owner so anything it gets so basically let's say you have a prison server you have prisoner a and you have prisoner B and basically everything prisoner A can do prisoner B can now do 
but let's say, right, that prisoner A can go somewhere, but if prisoner B can go there, he can get infinite money. I don't know how this could happen, but in some servers, you want to let a group um, go somewhere, but not the next group. So what do you do in that case? Well, you can have a negative permission. Let's say the permission to go into a certain area is, let's say, negative, don't, period, go. Let's say, uh, let's say that's the perm, right? Don't, period, go. That's the perm to go in somewhere. Now what we can do is main add p, so we're adding a permission to uh, editor. Let's say we don't want him going into the special place. And then we can do minus sign don't go. This means that even if it has this perm, it can't use it. So if we add that, basically even if you gave it all the permissions, even if it inherits a group that has don't go, it it acts like it doesn't have it. So you can maybe inherit everything A has into B, and then in B just subtract that. So that way you don't have to add each one individually and just leave that out. Now for changing people into different groups, you do menu add, the player name, Supreme Russian, and the group name, owner, editor, whatever. Now, if you want to delete a permission, you just do menu del p, I mean main del p, delete a permission from a group, and the group name, and the perm. Now all of this works with menu, you can menu add a permission to anyone, you can add a variable to anyone, and you can add a group, which basically places them in the group. You can't delete someone from a group, but you can delete the group and they will be sent to default. So that is basically the gist of group manager. In the next video, we will discuss an easy way to have your guys pay to rank up and a couple look at the files of group manager to basically uh, do things a little faster because doing things in game is convenient and it works um, in a pinch but if you're going to add like 20 30 groups it, it's easier to do it in the game files so guys thank you for watching this plugin tutorial I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for next time this is the editor and I'm signing out